Kelly Glisson with the Power Core 360. In this drill, we're going to focus on the explosive movement of the muscles, the internal, external oblique, the front part of the abdominal muscles, to create more core rotation and core flexion as part of pitching velocity improvements. So when an athlete throws or pitches a ball, certain muscles work to make certain movements happen to the body. We actually start with the inner thigh muscle here, and these muscles actually, as I'm pitching or throwing, actually work to bring the leg in to give us stability. At the same time, or actually not at the same time in the sequence, then this fires, and then my internal, external oblique, my abdominal muscles over here, actually work to help my body kind of rotate and start to pull down diagonally to rotate the shoulders down. The arm up here, of course, as we talked about in one of the other uh, videos, is as the shoulders are turning, we want the rotator cuff and the muscles around the shoulder then to work as the shoulder turns to bring the arm down with it. So that's basically the motion we want to go through. We don't want to torque the shoulder, though. And in an earlier video, we talked about we don't like to do throwing mechanics of the arm and the shoulder with something in the hand here resisting. We either go to a cuff here or a cuff here or both. In this case, I want to work predominantly the muscles of the thigh and muscles of the core here without twerking or putting the shoulder at risk for injury. So basically what we do in this exercise is we grab with two hands up here, we spread the forces down over, the, over both arms and shoulders so we're not going to do any kind of potential damage to this shoulder here. I'm going to reach up, I'm going to get a good stretch. I feel the stretch actually through my inner thigh, through my internal external oblique, the core muscles and I actually I'm going to feel it through my chest and back here. And I'm just simply just going to start to pull this thing down, legs working, core working, and arms finishing out in front, trying to simulate the throwing motion, throwing mechanics. That's the exercise that will allow us to strengthen those muscles in the proper sequence to develop the right mechanics to ultimately increase arm speed. All right, so this drill is a kneeling drill, but we're really trying to work on a lot of the front abdominal oblique muscles that are going to help pull the rib cage down to this front thigh. So we're trying to generate more power from this core kind of rotationally and diagonally, but it's a static strengthening exercise. So the first thing I'm going to have him do is rotate his shoulders back the opposite direction. I want this knee in pulling in so it gives him stability around his hips, pelvis, and spine. And he's just going to start to rotate forward a little bit and start to pull down with these muscles here. And right there he's going to hold. We're going to do a static isometric contraction. We're going to breathe and hold that. After six seconds, we're going to go ahead and continue the upper body motion. He's flexing forward. He's rotating his shoulders and staying right there. I don't want him actually leaning here. I want him to hold, not arm on there, so arm there. He's got to support without leaning on the leg, okay? Give me a little bit more rotation. Cool. Slowly back up. We're only doing two reps, okay? Here we go again. We're going to start the motion forward. Feel a little tension in the obliques, a little bit in the lat, a little bit in the triceps here, chest. We're going to hold that. Breathe in six seconds. Now bring it forward. Finish your throw. Make sure you're breathing, okay? All right, slowly stand up. This drill is actually what we call a complex movement, right? We're, going to, we're actually going to combine two different movements together. First is just to strengthen activation. Now we're going to use a sandbag, right? A heavy weight that's not on a medicine ball, right? And I actually have you stand to do this one, okay? But I want him now to be explosive. We've activated a lot of the muscles we want to use in the throwing motion through his core. And I want him to use this with two hands, right? Up in the same motion. I want it in two hands so it doesn't stress his right shoulder. He's going to step forward, drive his foot forward, go that linear piece of the hip, then rotation with the hip, and then drive it to the ground as fast and as hard as he can, really focusing on obliques really pulling down and creating more power through his legs and through his, his core abdominal area. Good. He's throwing as fast as he can. We're only doing five reps. He's going as fast as he can. Awesome. Stability of that inner thigh when you come down, be real stable through your pelvis, drive it to the ground. Nice. Two more. Last one coming. Good job. Reach up. When you reach up, get a really good stretch through there. Reach up, twist, stretch, load through there, fire the hips, then the upper body. Awesome job. Good job. Okay, so in this drill, it's very advanced. We've got three bands on. Band hook to the front hip, front shoulder, and the bands in two hands, right? 
we're really going to activate a lot of the muscles used in the throwing motion on the front side of the body here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to reach up, get a good stretch. We're looking for a stretch in the oblique, stretch through the lat a little bit through the right chest and shoulder. We're going to start the motion down with the hips, start to turn his hips a little bit, start to bring his shoulders through just a hair and hold right there. So right now he's going to hold that six seconds as he's holding. All kinds of muscles through his core, hips, and chest are really having to work. Go ahead and start to finish the throwing motion. Turn the hips through, turn the shoulders through. We're going to rotate. And we're going to hold this other end of it six seconds. Breathe for me. Hold that. Squeeze the legs together. Give me that stability. Nice. After six seconds, we're slowly just going to unwind. We'll step back. We'll rest ten. And we'll come back. We'll do one more rep. Six seconds. Now we're going to use a sandbag, right? A heavy weight that's not on a medicine ball, right? And actually, I have you stand to do this one, okay? But I want him now to be explosive. We've activated a lot of the muscles we want to use in the throwing motion through his core. And I want him to use this with two hands, right? Up in the same motion. I want it in two hands so it doesn't stress his right shoulder. He's going to step forward, drive his foot forward, go that linear piece of the hip, then rotation with the hip, and then drive it to the ground as fast and as hard as he can, really focusing on obliques really pulling down and creating more power through his legs and through his, his core abdominal area. Good. He's throwing as fast as he can. We're only doing five reps. He's going as fast as he can. Awesome. Stability of that inner thigh when you come down, be real stable through your pelvis. Drive it to the ground. Nice. Two more. Last one coming. Good job. Reach up. When you reach up, get a really good stretch through there. Reach up, twist, stretch, load through there, fire the hips, then the upper body. Awesome job. Good job. All right, so just going to make some easy throws. In between a lot of the drills we do, we integrate or we blend uh, one drill into the other, so it's actually carrying over into the skill of throwing. Uh, so for a lot of these, this first one, it's going to be just easy throws, maybe 30, 45%. We're not throwing far, maybe 30 or 40 feet. We're not working on velocity. We're just now that we've activated and turned on some muscles, we want him to use his body in that same way using those muscles, but actually in the act of throwing. So this first set, 35, 40%, 30, 40 feet, five throws. All right, so just going to make some easy throws. In between a lot of the drills we do, we integrate or we blend uh, one drill into the other, so it's actually carrying over into the skill of throwing. Uh, so for a lot of these, this first one, it's going to be just easy throws, maybe 30, 45%. We're not throwing far, maybe 30 or 40 feet. We're not working on velocity. We're just, now that we've activated and turned on some muscles, we want him to use his body in that same way using those muscles, but actually in the act of throwing. So this first set, 35, 40 percent, 30, 40 feet, five throws. Thanks for watching this video. If you want further information, please go to PowerCore360.com.